Welcome to Lady Elliot Island, the most serene coral cay on the southern tip of the Great Barrier Reef. It's a place to unwind and explore gorgeous marine life, bird life, sunsets and landscapes. And it's a place of constantly changing weather, where it can be sunny, cloudy, dry, raining and cap it off with a rainbow, all in a single moment. Making our way from Sydney, Megan and I stopped over in the coastal Queensland town of Harvey Bay. After a meal at the wharf, we spent some time testing out our underwater cameras in the hotel pool for the reef dives that lay ahead. And we also just mucked around a bit. Since Lady Elliot Island is 80 kilometers off the coast of Queensland, if you were gonna come here by boat, it would take you about six or seven hours. So the only way to get here is by a light aircraft. We're on a Cessna caravan about to take off for Lady Elliot Island. There are four pickup points for the airline, Bundaberg, Harvey Bay, Brisbane, and the Gold Coast. And of course, it's not just a mode of transport, but a scenic flight as well. The island is about the length of the runway, so it's a pretty small island. I particularly love that the runway is made mostly with grass. It makes the place look really natural and beautiful, and some days they actually play sports on there, like cricket or baseball. You don't even need to bring your own equipment. When guests arrive on the island, the dive shop kits them out with snorkel, fins, wetsuit, and a pair of reef walking shoes. Wow. For our first swim of the day, we followed the scuba divers out to see some manta rays that they had located. Manta rays can grow to seven meters. And at Lady Elliot, the viewing season is all year round. The island is a safe haven for animals and birds. The red-tailed tropic bird spends its life at sea and returns to nest in the low shrubs of the coral atolls. One of the things I really love about Lady Elliot Island is just the amount of detail that's in the coral and also in the rocks. Some of the coral even looks like brains or computer chips. There's this circuitry or else these sort of like cell-like organisms. Lady Elliot Island has been focusing on cutting their power consumption and they've been able to reduce their diesel consumption by about 75% using these solar panels. 6.30 in the morning, going for our first swim of the day. For me, one of the things that makes this resort so special is how small and contained it is. For example, I woke at dawn this morning and stepped out my front door at high tide for a snorkel in the lagoon and breakfast on the beach. And let me tell you, this place is turtle heaven. They are as tame as puppy dogs and quite happy for you to approach and scratch their backs. As if the multitude of fish on the reef were not enough, at three o'clock every day there's a fish feeding session. Swarms of fish brushed around my ankles in a frenzy for the kilogram of burley that's been dropped here for the last 30 years. Or if you don't want to get your feet wet, you can take a ride in the island's glass-bottomed boat to see an array of sea creatures. Even sharks. At the end of an exhausting day, we kicked back on the beach with a drink to watch a spectacular sunset. A fishing trawler has grounded itself on the reef overnight and we are told that it will be able to get back into the ocean eventually with the next high tide. So double check your GPS because shipwrecks Still happen. It's been an amazing experience here for three days. There's not much Wi-Fi and there's no phone reception on the island, so I've had a fantastic time offline, relaxing and exploring. Each of the dives was so unique that as the plane departed down the runway, it made me think, I can't wait to go back.